better, you can too. Six tools that diminish my symptoms. I'm going to be talking fast. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Diagnosed at 62. Here I am three years later. I thought I was walking so well. Shuffling gait caused a stress fracture in my left foot. I was not landing on my heel. Arthritis and depression set in. I had to get better so I could continue being a delight to my son and others. I knew exercise was the answer, but needed a mentor who understood Parkinson's. Tool number one, a physical therapist specializing in Parkinson's, neurological disorders, and power moves. Ta-da! Dr. Claire McLean entered my life as my physical therapist, coach, mentor, and most importantly, head cheerleader. A Parkinson's exercise expert, Claire always set the bar higher. With Claire, there's no slacking off. Working with Claire, I learned that her perspective and approach are unique. Her specialized training provides insight into my symptoms and ways to help me elevate my quality of life. She encourages me to work harder than I ever thought I possibly could. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Rule number two, power moves. Claire worked with me even though I wasn't on sentiment. However, she explained if I wanted to exercise at a level that would grow new neural pathways, I needed to consider sentiment. Started sentiment and working with Claire, learning the power move. Power moves reach inside my body to the tiny places where pain and rigidity hide. For me, they are an essential tool for diminishing my symptoms. Evidence was mounting on the benefits of exercise. If I worked harder, I could further reduce my symptoms. Time to step it up. Number three, vigorous, consistent cardio done with focused intention. The back brace is from a fall that fractured my T12. Yep, another obstacle, but I don't give up easily. Vigorous cardio workouts done with focused intention clears out the noise in my body and the fog in my brain, gives me aerobic endurance, increases the capacity of my heart, lungs, and body to be stronger and more fit, allows neuroplasticity to grow new neural pathways in my brain, relieves arthritis, pain, depression, apathy, and fatigue. Rule number four, pole walking with a Fitbit. A brace came off and my orthopedic doctor prescribed 8,000 steps per day to avoid back surgery. Coincidentally, Claire started her walking group. Doing daily mindful fast pole walking, I learned that wearing my Fitbit, I discovered that 630 steps a day was not enough. Focus on taking big steps, land on my heel, swing my arms big, good posture, eyes looking straight ahead, walking as fast as possible with good form, and by keeping up my good walking while chatting with friends, I'm working on multitasking. Number five, a plant-based diet. Plant protein doesn't interfere with the medication absorption and there's plenty of fiber. Tool number six, exercise five days a week. Mindfully with heart and soul, 90 minutes a day, week after week. Started last March with cardio three days a week. In August, I added pole walking, power moves, and walking around my neighborhood. In November, I added another power moves class and was up to 90 minutes a day, five days a week. year of cardio work, I looked at the numbers and discovered I had improved 192% on the six-minute walk and 12 seconds on the peg test. My first 5K walk at age 68, you bet. Play marathon 5K walk with Claire, Andalusio, and Team Parkinson. Improved use of my fingers meant I could bake and garden again. Grip strength improved and I could do things around the house again. Hi, I got better after seven years. You can too.